So as a lot of people know, there were recently some spy shots released of what looks to be the CA Corvette mid-engine version testing next to the new ZR1 that will be coming out soon. So I just want to touch on a few things about it real quick, have my thoughts on it, and kind of tell you what a lot of people know so far. In my opinion, towards the back where the roof line kind of slopes down, it looks to me kind of like the original NSX. It kind of comes down, tapers off to a flat back end. The front end, I get like a really strong Ferrari kind of vibe from it, like a newer Ferrari. And then the back end, um, looking at that, I sort of get a first gen Lamborghini Gallardo vibe just from the two exhaust tips on each side and kind of the box. And then in the middle, there's that portion where you can kind of see where the muffler looks to be. So it's undisputably a mid-engine setup in this car. The camo on the car is super heavy. Um, so it, I don't think it's fair to call it ugly just yet. I think based on the spy shots, yeah, it looks pretty ugly right now. But that being said, it's not really fair to judge a car just based off of the camouflage that's on it. You can't really tell what's underneath it. Like with the refreshed version of the Mustang that just came out, the 2018 version, just looking at the spy shots of it before it was actually released, it looked, you couldn't tell a big difference. But then whenever the actual pictures of the car were released, you could really tell that they kind of sloped the hood down a little more, the headlights were different, the whole front bumper basically was different. So it's really hard to determine how a car looks just based off the camouflage. So I don't think it's fair to call it ugly just yet until we get some more revealing shots of the car. One thing that I do think is interesting is the fact that in the center of the car, you can definitely tell that it's an A-pillar roof, window, and door like setup from the C7 Corvette. I don't think that that's gonna actually be a part of the design. I think that those are just parts they had. They throw it on prototypes and they're just kind of out there testing the car. I don't think they're testing any sort of body type stuff yet. I think they're probably just focusing on the powertrain right now, and that's why they just kind of threw some parts on there. Another example of why I think they might just be testing the powertrain right now is that there were spy shots of what looked like a, almost a mid-engine ute testing. So I think that really they're not focused on the body like right now. I'm sure there's designing going on and testing and things like that, but I really don't think that you can determine how the car is going to look just based off of what's on there right now. They might use stuff from the C7, but I really, really doubt it. I think that everything's going to be like all original on it. So going off of that, I don't think that it's fair to determine the exact looks of the car just based off of the spy shots. I think we can get an idea of the shape, and you can definitely tell it's mid-engine, but everybody knew that, that was going to happen. So I think they'll develop the lines of the car more, Especially since they've been hyping up or kind of throwing hints at a mid-engine Corvette for so many years now, I really find it hard to believe that they would do something so bland and outdated just right off the bat based off these spy shots. I think that the camera's trying to throw us off, but ultimately we all know that it's a mid-engine Corvette and I think it'll look better once it's further along the line and we get some more information about it, we can kind of determine more looks. I'm sure there'll be people rendering pictures of it and all kinds of stuff. One thing I did want to touch on is kind of speculation for the power plant of the car. I think that, uh, well, we, we know that the LT5 name was taken most likely for the ZR1 that's coming out. So I think that probably the motor will be the LT6 in this car. So it'll probably go with a similar uh, setup. Instead of the single cam, it'll probably go dual overhead cam like the LT5. And then I would feel like there'd have to be some sort of forced induction in order to compete with the markets it's going to be a part of. Um, competing with cars, maybe like Lamborghini, Ferraris, um, who knows. Uh, the mid-engine setup opens up a whole new category for the car to compete in, and something that GM hasn't really done before. There are, uh, there are prototype type cars in the past and concepts like the Cadillac CL, that was one that was mid-engine, but it didn't take off obviously. So this is kind of a new uh, a new little sector for them to be getting into. As far as adapting to the market goes, I think the price point for the car is probably going to be over $100,000 pretty easily. I think that's safe to say. I think the ZR1 will be close to, if not over $100,000. So I think $150 will probably be a safe bet for the original price point of this car. But at that point, they're kind of losing the Corvette roots of the affordable sports car. I know with the C6 or the C7 Stingrays. They, the price started to go up a little bit, and they, over the years, everything's kind of experienced inflation. Prices have gone up, but I think overall, the Corvette's kind of lost its affordability factor. So I, I think that 
they'll kind of be losing something if they go any more expensive than like $150,000. I really don't think that it'll be as competitive in the supercar, sports car market. Another thing to touch on is transmissions in these cars. I think that it'll either be a 10-speed automatic offered in it or some sort of dual clutch transmission. I feel like they'll probably can the manual transmission. I think the last one that'll have the manual as an option is the ZR1. Hopefully that'll be an option in that, see, or a seven speed manual. I think a lot of people would like to see that, but at the same time, the sales numbers don't lie, and more people than not are buying automatics now with the Corvettes, so I think that maybe they'll keep manual as an option for like the more base level Corvettes, just for like the enthusiasts that really, really want that manual still, but I think that they'll kind of ax it for the upper level cars, like the mid-engine C8 that'll be coming out eventually. So. Um, that's kind of touching on all my thoughts of it. I really don't think it's, I think it's kind of ugly based off the spy shots, but it's not fair to say that it's an ugly car just yet. I think that as the design kind of develops, people will start to like it more, we'll get a better idea of what it's going to look like, and I think it'll really be a successful design, especially just based off of the design of the C7. I find it hard to believe that they would move backwards in design when going to the C8. So yeah, that's just kind of my thoughts. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.